What's up everybody, Torben Gaming here. So the Battlefield 1 beta has of course been out for quite a few days already. I played a lot of it and what I wanted to do with this video is give you my uh, personal review, my take on what I've played of Battlefield 1 in this beta uh, and if it got me any more excited for, you know, the actual release coming up. Now, I have been a, you know, pretty big Battlefield fan already for quite some years, so I've played a bunch of the games and I was really wondering what DICE would do with this Battlefield to switch things up. Of course, we already knew the biggest, I guess, answer to that question is the setting, right? It's way different, World War I, uh, and we knew that was going to be a big part of it, and it is, for sure, but what I was actually, I was actually surprised by quite a few small little things that they did uh, that make this such a different Battlefield experience to me, but at the same time, and hear me out, this might sound a little crazy or something, uh, but this really, to me, does feel like the next Battlefield, and yes, of course it is the next Battlefield, that only makes sense, but uh, if, if you get what I mean, like, Battlefield 4 was such a big success, after the launch issues that it had, uh, you know, it did uh, grow to get this core community, a big part of the people that actually kept playing it, and I think it's still one of the best multiplayer games on the PS4, to the point where when Hardline released on PS4, what was it, in like uh, uh, 2015 or something, or and also on other platforms, when that released... Um, you know, barely anybody was really playing it. It felt like only a small part of the community had moved on to that game, and the rest all just kept playing Battlefield 4. And I really have the feeling with Battlefield 1 now, with the new DICE Battlefield game, that people will be moving on, and this is literally the next Battlefield game that everybody will hop onto. And that's only a good thing. You know, some of the things that really surprised me immediately in the beginning when I booted up the game already is the fact that DICE has added so many cool little options to tweak the experience for everybody. Uh, personally like for example even on consoles now you can change the field of view that's awesome i myself put it quite a bit you know up not completely because it's it's really annoying to play that way on consoles for some reason might have been the motion blur actually but even that you can turn off uh you have kill colors which you know you can actually uh decide what color you want to see when you kill somebody which is cool and the announcer voice which normally i think by default is a female you can change that into a male you can turn it off completely all these little you know thing things that i don't see a lot in multiplayer player games at all where I'm like man I'm actually really really positively surprised uh, surprised that DICE has added these things for everybody to tweak it's a really cool thing to do for a community and it's it's what makes this game stand apart and when you really get the feeling that this is a multiplayer game uh, that is just super popular and that everybody plays and they do a lot to really make it stand out in that way and to uh, make it feel like you know yeah this is quite an experience that you're playing if you get what I mean um, so another thing I was really surprised by is the animations. I love how now when you get into a car in a vehicle or something or you or you jump on a horse, your horse, you actually see an animation playing where it, it, it just adds a little more immersion. You know, you're playing a game in first person, in the other Battlefield games you press a button and all of a sudden you're in the car or something. Now you actually see yourself stepping into one. Or if you change uh, seats, you actually see yourself, you know, hopping to the next seat. That's really cool. Now, just in, in terms of the gameplay itself, right, the actual game, uh, I'm also a big fan. The map, the desert map that we got, yeah, it's, it, you know, it, it gets boring after a while a bit because, yeah, it's just one map, you know, but that's what a beta is. And uh, obviously there's going to be lots more variety when we see actual new maps being added. But I do like this desert map a lot. It has it has these cool, you know, canyon sort of places where everything gets a lot a lot tighter. But in general, I think the map is, is super open, actually. And uh, therefore, you always have to watch out, look all around you. That's why I put the field of view up especially is because, yeah, people... People can just shoot shoot you from all kinds of angles, so definitely keep an eye out on that. And the setting is just cool, you know, World War One. we haven't really seen many games do that. It's nice to see a big game like Battlefield actually switch itself up that way. Um, you know, so uh, so I was a big fan of that as well, and you know, everything else is just the same, right? It, it is Battlefield at its finest. It still has the amazing Battlefield moments where you see a plane flying over while uh, you're, you're killing a certain enemy or whatever, when you see a tank next to you, uh, you know, explode or something. It still has those amazing moments happening all the time. The gun variety is quite different, actually, to the point where in the other ones, in the other games, I would always use assault rifles or submachine guns, but in this one, I really feel like, you know, the sniper rifle and the semi-auto rifles, those are uh, the main guns that people are playing with and actually they kind of force you to play with those guns, which 
you know, I would say, yeah, it's, it's a pretty cool thing. There are still automatic rifles for you if you prefer that, but uh, it's just nice that they, in a certain way, force you actually to, to try out different things this time around as well. So I'm very interested to see how it's going to work out with the lifespan that this game is going to have and people just, you know, playing with, with completely different playstyles in this one. Um, now, that's pretty much, I guess, the positive uh, the positive sides of it for me. I just enjoy this uh, Battle for One beta a lot. I really have been, and I'm looking forward a lot to, you know, when the game actually comes out. I'm sure it's going to be my next main multiplayer game. But I did have a few issues as well, which I wanted to, um, you know, kind of point out in this video. So I've played the beta on both PS4 and on PC, and I noticed that on PS4 there are quite some frame rate issues. I think especially when you're playing Conquest, because it's much bigger with 64 players. Uh, I just noticed that, yeah, the frame rate does dip quite often, while on PC, of course, I played it with my new uh, gaming PC that I have, you know, on Ultra, 120, 120 frames per second. It's a great experience that way. Uh, but on PS4, I just hope that DICE can kind of tweak it so that the frame rate at least, you know, is stable. I prefer playing this game on consoles because I just prefer playing with a controller. And if you would play with a controller on PC against all these mouse and keyboard guys, then it's pretty much undoable that way. Um, you know, so... I hope that DICE is, you know, going to tweak things there or maybe make the game look a little less good, I guess, uh, uh, just so that it can run better. It does, by the way, look amazing graphically, so I'm really liking it there as well. Uh, server lag, you know, you pretty much everybody has had issues trying to connect actually to the game itself. The EA servers have been bad, but I think that's mainly, yeah, just a beta issue, you know, the first few days trying to test the servers, everything like that. Uh, it's only logical that there would be problems getting into an actual game, but uh, it is what it is. I'm pretty sure that this will be hopefully fixed by the time the game comes out or at least you know a few days after that uh, and then the last little issue that I had is I feel like the tanks are a little too overpowered you know sometimes with certain classes that you use I feel like um you don't get a lot of options to take out tanks, so they are super powerful once you're in one. They're slow as well, so it's not that fun to play for me personally, playing with a tank like that. But uh, when you have, you know, an opponent using a tank, it feels like you're pretty much, uh, you have no choice but to run away if you're a certain class that doesn't have anything against the tank. And, uh, you know, that's a little bit of a shame, I feel, because, yeah, I, I, I did find that to be kind of an issue. There weren't that many, uh, I guess, ways to take out a tank. But, uh, as I said, that's pretty much my review for the Battlefield 1 beta. I have a few issues with it, but in general, as I said, it really feels like the next Battlefield game that everybody's gonna hop on to. Uh, DICE has done some really cool things with the animations and the options that they added, and as far as the game itself goes, it is just, once again, that Battlefield feeling that you're used to in a new setting uh, that switches things up quite a bit, and I'm a big fan of it so far. So, with that being said, I would like to know from you in the comments what do you think about the Battlefield 1 beta so far? Are you enjoying it? And then for now, thanks a lot for watching, I hope to see you again again next time.